Hi, today we'll learn how to use the strategic plan template. So first, let's go into the settings. You can see that the settings tab is divided in two sections. The first one is to set up information regarding the company and the second one is to set up rules regarding the metrics. So here, let's put for example 90%. That means that when our metric is 90% or more compared to the target, I'll turn green. Otherwise, it'll be red. Let's say there's 90 here as well. Perfect. Now let's go into the strategic areas. We can create a new area that we'll call R&D. Now let's go into the man managers and let's add an eighth manager that we'll call Snow White. Finally, let's look into the translations. If you already speak either English, French, or Portuguese, you're good to go. If you need to have your template into another language, simply add all the transla translations in this column and make sure to select your language here and you'll have your template in another language. All right, let's look into the strategic plan now. The, strate the strategy statements is where you'll enter your vision, mission, and values. Now, if we look into the goals, you can see that we have left enough to enter six different goals and their description. So let's add a sixth goal that we'll call Enhance workforce skills and motivate all employees. Perfect. For the comments, let's just leave some lorem ipsum for now. Now let's go into the objective section. As you can see, the objective section is built in six different tabs for each of our goals. Let's go into our new goal number six. We'll have a first objective to get soft skills training for 90 employees. Perfect. As for the area, this is more of an HR department related objective. For the format, we'll leave it as is because we want entire numbers. Best direction will be up. Obviously, the more employees you have trained, the better. For the expression, we'll look at the last value. All right, let's put another one. Reach a 90% employee satisfaction rate. Perfect. This again is an HR related objective. For the format, we'll obviously put it as a percentage. Best direction is up. And for the expression, let's keep the last value. All right, we can move on to the KPI tra tracking section. Here too, you can see that we've got our goal divided in different tabs. Let's go to goal number six. We can see our two objectives here. So for the target of the first one, we'll set as 90 employees. Copy this target value across. Perfect. So let's say in January we had zero employees trained. In Feb we can have 15, 30, 50, 50. All right. And let's say in July we had 100, and we can just keep that all the way till December. Let's set up our second objective. So our target is obviously 90%. We'll affect this everywhere. So for January, let's say we had 75%. February, 85%. And let's say from March onwards, all our employees were 100% satisfied. 
satisfied. All right, perfect. Finally, let's go into the action plan. Here too, we've got different sections based on goals. Let's go into our last goal and let's add an action. So we'll call it action one. Perfect. As for the objective, we'll assign it to our first objective. For the manager, let's assign it to Snow White. Date begin, we can just set that up on the 5th of March. For the date due, let's say 31st of December. And yep, we'll leave it 100% completed. All right, now we're ready to finally analyze and report. Let's go into the report section. First, we can look at the strategic plan report and scroll all the way down to the bottom where we can see our two objectives and the evolution throughout the months. Obviously, they're green because we exceeded the target. We can now look at the action plan report. And here we can see that we've got one action that we just created and it's 100% complete. As for the strategic dashboard, it is more of an overview of all the different goals, objectives, etc. The action dashboard is an overview of all the actions that we've listed. And finally, the presentation lists all the information that we have in the dashboard, in the settings, and in the plans, in the printable format. All right, hope you enjoy your new template. Bye.